Yesterday you said weight classes are there for a reason. Yeah. In thinking of that, does that come into play when you think of when you react to Mikey Garcia calling you out? Definitely, man. Definitely, you know, <clears throat> but what can I say, man? When I wasn't at the top, I was calling out everybody at the top. Now that I'm at the top, my name pops up in a lot of people's mouth, you know, and um, that's just that's just what happens when you hold two belts. Um, he said he wants to make a big statement, this, that. Obviously, he's got a, some great fights coming up in a lower weight class. Um, you know, he's still young. We're young. There's time to build that legacy. He wants that legacy. There's time to build that legacy for himself and to become that Hall of Fame fighter that uh, he talked about. But um, the welterweight division is a highly competitive and dangerous division for everyone who's competing in it. Nonetheless, lighter guys moving up trying to get up in it. So that's how I feel personally. Did you take that seriously, though, when, when he no, said I that? I mean, yeah, I take it seriously to a degree, but I really don't want to, like, I'm not, you know, I mean, it's just a big, it's a big leap, you know what I mean? And it's not that I don't want to give him the fight, I don't want to give him the opportunity, but, like, I, for me, it's just like, really? Because I just don't even see that happening, you know? And then when I when I do my job and I get the victory, well, that's what Thurman was supposed to, you know. I mean, why did they make that fight? Blah 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 blah. You know, what? I mean, people, y'all y'all stirred it around a little bit. It's not really getting talked about a lot, but uh, he he got some more uh, views on YouTube or whatever with some of those comments, man. So I'm not gonna hate on the boy, and if he ever really does become a Walter Wade and uh, he wants to, there's a real contract one day with his name on it. I won't be opposed to it. Were you impressed with his win against Broner? No, nah, I wasn't impressed with his win against um, Broner. You know, I mean, it was some basic, basic style boxing. You know, Broner has a bad habit of making fights look like sparring sessions. You know, and um, he's too young and he doesn't have a high enough work rate. You know, he, he's one of the easiest fighters to um, outwork when it comes to numbers. And uh, Mikey Garcia definitely outworked him and um, pretty much dominated the fight using his reach advantage. You know, they say that Broner fought at 147, but they forget that Broner was a 135 pounder too. They're, they practically are like the same weight class for the most part. And also, when, when I see lighter guys moving up and fighting in a new weight class, to me, they're still in the old weight class, just too lazy to lose to lose the weight. You know what I mean? So I don't look at it at a 140 fight or you know like like let's just say if um, for example, Devin Alexander fought Timothy Bradley at 147, right? But to me, when I watched the fight, it was two 140 pounders fighting each other. I don't I don't care what contract they had the fight at. What I care about is the roots and the history of what division they originated at and where they got their real uh, celebrity status at, you know, so that's just how I feel. It's a personal thing, but that's how I feel.